A relief airplane is delivering a food package to a group of people stranded on a very small island. The island is too small for the plane to land on and the only way to deliver the package is by dropping it. The airplane flies horizontally with constant speed of 422 km per hour at an altitude of 625 meters. The positive x and y directions are defined in the figure. For all parts, assume that the island refers to the point at a distance d from the point at which the package is released as shown in the figure. Ignore the height of this point above sea level. Assume that the free fall acceleration is g is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. After a package is dropped from the plane, how long will it take for it to reach sea level from the time it is dropped? Assume that the package, like the plane, has an initial velocity of 422 km per hour in the horizontal direction. Second bit. If the package is to land right on the island, at what horizontal distance d from the plane to the island should the package be released? Third bit. What is the speed vf of the package when it hits the ground? Then last bit. Last bit we will do, we will read later. First, let us do first three bits, then we go for the last bit. He is saying that the initial velocity of the package is 422 kilometers per hour. And then we have to find out the time, okay, time at which it strikes the ground or island. So for that, what I do is, it is at an altitude of 625 meters. So H is equal to 625 meters. Okay. And then A is equal to G is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. Okay. Now what I have to do is, I have to find out T, T is question mark. Now I use the equation Y is equal to VIT plus half AT square. Along the y direction, velocity is 0. Viy is equal to 0. That is what I am going to use here. Okay. And then I take a is equal to negative 9.8 and then h also negative because the uh, food package is falling downwards. So negative 6, 625 is equal to 0 plus half into negative 9.8 times t square. Therefore, t square is equal to negative 625 divided by 9.8 or t is equal to 11.29 seconds. Okay. This is the uh, first bit. How long it will take means so here it is 11.29 seconds. And then second bit, if the package is to land right on the island, what at what horizontal distance from the plane to the island should the package be released? So for this, what I do is um, d is equal to vt. Am I right? So, but here the velocity is given as vx. Vix is equal to 422 kilometers per hour. So I convert it into meters per second. So Vx is equal to uh, 117.22 meters per second. And we know distance is equal to d is equal to Vt. Therefore, this is equal to distance is equal to 117.22 meters per second times 11.29 seconds. That gives the value of 1323.43 meters. This much of distance should be there. 1343.23 meters. Okay. And then we have to find out the speed with which the package hits the ground. So for that, we have to find out the um, y direction we know by direction no we have to find out the y direction velocity so vfy is equal to viy plus at and then initial velocity is zero and then plus 
9.8 times uh, t is equal to 11.29. This gives Vf a value of Vfy is equal to. So this is falling down. So it should be negative. So the value will be one second. negative 9.8 so the value will be uh, 110.64 meters per second downward direction okay now we have to find out vf vf is equal to square root of v i uh, v x square plus v y square okay so this is equal to square root of 117.22 square plus negative 110.64 square. Okay, so this gives a value of Vf is equal to 161.18 meters per second. Okay, and then this is the value. 161.18 meters per second. Now the final bit. The speed at which the package hits the ground is really fast. If a package hits the ground at such a speed, it can be crushed and also cause some serious damage on the ground. Which of the following would help decrease the speed with which the package hits the ground? So here the two options are there. Increase the plane's speed and height decrease the plane's speed and height. Here, my choice is the second one, this one. Decrease the Yeah. So, why I should decrease the height and also the speed? The first thing is, when I decrease the height, the time decreases. Okay. So, when the time decreases, one, first one is time decreases and the second one is Plane's speed, y direction speed should be decreased. Obviously, when the speed decreases and then the time decreases, then here the, it has a soft landing. Now it is a harsh landing. When we decrease the plane's speed and height, then it will land softly and then the package will not damage. Okay, that is the reason for this one. Okay, hope this helps. Thank you. Bye bye.